So we try going all the way around this time. From the back entrance, through the graveyard, to Heinrich's farm, and then back here. And Bruno is here, which is good news. Because if Bruno is here, that means that he should not be ready to ambush us. The question is, is the guy still dead where we left him? We've been sneaking to avoid all monsters, and yes, he is. You retrieve your dagger, which is excellent. It's our only weapon at the moment. And we should also be able to retrieve a key. You find a single key on the brigand's body and put it away. Fantastic. We can now attack the brigand stronghold. Which is what our next task should be. But first we need to get a little bit stronger, I think. We still need to go to Erasmus's magic tower as well, which we, means we need to increase our magic skills as well as get more mana potions. We have 80 gold pieces, so we can also get new armor. But we don't really have a lot of places to go left to increase our money supply, which is a problem because I want to get a ton of I want to get a ton of power potions and I also want to buy the upgraded armor which is 50 gold and a dagger which is 2 gold. So we're going to buy the armor and we're going to buy a dagger. So now we have two daggers so in case we lose one like we just did we're good. We also have one chainmail shirt it weighs 35 pounds. We're carrying 56 pounds of equipment and we're allowed to carry up to 62. Unfortunately, we only have two mana potions. And as we've seen, we can go through mana incredibly fast. We're also really tired. <laughs> we're, we're hurting, we're tired, we're low on magic points. How much time is left in today? Today is midday. So we'll probably just go ahead and sleep before doing anything else. We're here to buy some potions. Which we need to be careful of because, again, we've had some issues in the past with that. So we're going to buy a power potion. We're going to wait a second. We're going to check our inventory. We had three. That's good. So we're now going to buy another six. Okay, we have nine gold. Which means we could buy one more power potion if we liked. But then we would have nothing left, which kind of concerns me. Although if we go goblin hunting, we should be able to get enough to fulfill any other need. Let's go ahead and get one more power potion. And we'll have seven. We also have the undead unguent somewhere. Possibly. Two vigor, seven mana, two healing, one dispel. We do not have the undead unguent. Yes, we do. It's right there. Okay. So we can go to Bobby Yaga's because we have the eye and we have the undead unguent. And that's something that we could probably do tonight as well. The first thing we'll have to do though is rest because we are really, really tired. Sleep, 60 minutes. Should be, ah, uh, it's still mid afternoon. 30 minutes, come on. Still mid afternoon. Not what I really wanted right now, to be honest. Let's look at our character sheet and we're still hurting, man. Our health is low. Our stamina is low. Our magic points are still low. Are you sure we can't rest longer? Come on. Okay, we can. Can we rest longer? No. How about 30 minutes? No. How about 10 minutes? Sunset is approaching. That's good news. But again, we still need to kill some time. And the best way to kill some time is just to run out of stamina because by using stamina, we have we'll be able to rest. And what we need to do is we need to get to basically th the night is falling and then make our way to Bobby Yaga. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a ton of rocks and I'm gonna sleep. So I'll be back in just a moment. Night is now falling. We, what we did was we threw rocks a hundred times and then after throwing rocks a hundred times, we climbed this tree until we felt tired. So as you can see, our throwing is now at 90 and our climbing is up to 68. 
our strength, agility, and vitality all went up. Our luck went up as well for some reason. I still understand how that works. Our health is still low. Our stamina is good enough. And our magic is maxed, which is not a bad thing at all. What we need to do is we need to make our way to Baba Yaga quickly. The night is still young, but that's going to change fast. I probably slept more than what I wanted to sleep. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure I know exactly where Baba Yaga's place is. I know it's to the northwest somewhere. I think we got it. How about that? You again? Do you really want to go back in there? Yes, we do. For the first time, actually. Because we didn't go in originally. This is where things can get dangerous. We want to stand back this time. You hear a voice in your head asking, What is the rhyme? The rhyme is, Hut of Brown, now sit down. Back, Pats, we have a visitor. <laughs> Powers of night, shadows of day, heed now my words, henceforth you stay. Your body is frozen by the power of the witch's spell. Well, dearies, what shall we have for supper today? Squawk, squawk, squeak, squeak. Here are those sandwiches. I had something more formal in mind. Ah, that's it. Frog legs fricassee. Squawk, squawk. Now, how does that spell go? Hear me, O oh powers of Clotha and Mana. Turn now my guests into a species called Rana! I learned that spell from Erasmus, kids. Doesn't it look delicious? We're a frog being set into a pot. Ah! Be still! Now I'll soon to be supper. I don't suppose you have a name? Yes, we do have a name, Croak Croak. You try your best to cook out your name. At least let the witch know that you do indeed have one. As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. So you're the one who's trying to be a hero around here. The only good hero is a dead hero, I always like to say. But I do have a need for a brave fool. Are you brave? Yes, we are very brave, or at least Right now, we're petrified, but when we're not being held over a dangling soup in the form of a fog, we're actually very brave. Yes, we are. I wonder what happens if you say no. It's just as well. I'll lose my dinner if you are brave. Lovies, it's about time we dine. Oh, I guess you just died. Well, that makes sense. <sighs> oh. Shame on you. Didn't anyone ever tell you that a hero is supposed to be brave even when he doesn't feel that way? Looks like you found the coward's way out. Sautéed in wine sauce. You know, there is an old saying that says that it's impossible to be brave without also being scared. Because the only time you can truly be brave is when you're too afraid to do something, but you do it anyway. I always like that. Yes, we are brave. You make your little foggy sounds, trying your best to indicate your agreement. Well, if you're willing to do a small little teensy favor for me, I might reconsider having you for supper. I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Will you be as sweet to fetch me some? Yes, we will. Anything but fog likes fricassee, you think? You cook your agreement to the task. And I had my mouth watering for frog. Oh well. Hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled at precisely midnight. This I tell you and this I say. Return with the root at the break of next day. Hear what I say and no I don't lie. 
Bring back the root or else you will die. Can we not be a fog, please? You! Shoo! From a distance, you hear the witch in tone. Oops! I ne very nearly forgot! Hear me, O oh powers of mana and more! Turn this wool back as it was before! As you contemplate the occurrences of the last few moments, you conclude that you better find a mandrake root for Babiaga. And fast. Alright. This gets a little tricky now. And the reason it's a little tricky is because we have to find the mandrake root, but it can only be found at midnight. The night is still young. The first thing we have to do is find the cemetery. And then after finding the cemetery, we have to wait until it's midnight. And then we have to pull it. So we're probably going to die trying to find the cemetery first. I'm not sure exactly where it is. I'm just going to wander around until we find it. And then we'll probably die a very horrible death. Well, we'll probably die a very horrible death before that. Please run. Please run. Please run. Oh, I have no idea where. Okay. That's not what I wanted. We need the symmetry. Where is the symmetry? So the goblin camp is directly west. This is Bobby Yaga. That's Bobby Yaga. No, we really don't want to go back in there again. We're trying to find the graveyard. How are we doing on time? Night is still young. So if we go down one, right one, we run into a monster. Run away. Run away. Down one, left one. How about we go left from the goblin camp? That's the meeps. Goblin camp, down two is the fairy circle. No! No, I don't want to dance! No! No, I don't want to dance. Oh, they made me dance anyway, and I'm dead. Don't go back to the fairy circle. Oh. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's go to the right. Let's avoid the manta ray. Let's go down a couple times. Oh, oh, wait, wait, there was a skeleton there. That means that this should be the graveyard, right? Where's the graveyard? It's got to be close by. If that's where the skeleton is. It appears that the spirits frolic here during the dark hours. We need to get out of here fast before we die. We found it. It was like left down right and left down right from like the farmer's area. And their ghosts are dancing all around us. We need to sleep just a bit. It's the middle of that. I don't know if that's midnight or not. So we're going to save it here. We're going to have a lot of saves here. <laughs> By the way, finding the graveyard was painful. I don't know if I'm going to leave it in or not, but it basically meant we died a lot. Let's go ahead and use the Undead Goint. Actually, if you are curious about what happens if you don't use Undead Goint, because I know I am, what happens? It appears that the spirits fall out here during the dark hours. Let's go say hi. Uh, they're giving me a hug. Game anyway. Wait, what happened to the thing? As a ghost sucked the life out of your body and you crumple into the dust of the old graveyard, you think unspeakable thoughts of torture and torment directed at vicious programmers and insidious game designers. But please buy our next game anyway. Let's make sure we actually use the undead and go in this time. I don't know if you have to be on the screen or not, but I do know we have a second to use it. So let's use it. You feel a tingling sensation as you rub the ingoint all over your body. And now we should be able to pick this, hopefully. You wrench the mandrake plant free from the tombstone on which it has grown. You hear a scream like that of a dying child as you yank the root from the ground. Excellent. You see transparent decaying, writhing, slimy undead fragments of undulating ectoplasm. Okay, we need to uh, get the heck out of here. This place is scary. I believe you can, yes, you can fight ghosts in the fourth game. 
Although it's very, very dangerous, it's still very dangerous even later in your career. Fighting ghosts is always going to be a bad idea. We had the mandate, Groot. That was a little adventure, I will admit. We need to talk to the hut. The hut of Brown now sit down. If you are curious, in the original game, you did have to type that out. Hut of Brown now sit down. I will say that having to type things out makes for a lot more puzzly element. But again, I like the point and click. Baxel Sohn? Spirits of mist and creatures of bog transform my guest to the shape of a frog. Oh wait, we got your boot. This I vow, stay there now. Once again, you're a frog, and once again, you can't move. You find it very exasperating. Yum, yum, foggy frappy. Did you bring me my mandrake like you promised? As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. Well, where is it? What's the matter? Got a frog in your throat? I suppose I'll have to turn you back into whatever it was you were. Pity. You're much more appetizing this way. Creatures of bog and spirits of frog, return their true form to this rather dumb frog. Now, did you put it in your backpack? Ah, here it is. Kids, we have it! Chirp, 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 chirp. That's it, the final ingredient. Now we can make our greatest creation! Mandrake Moose! Chirp chirp chirp. I know that's not a sound a bat makes, whatever. What's that, children? You think we should reward our lackey here? Very well, x Frog. I'll let you live this time. Next time, though, it's Frog Lex for sure! So go! What an awful creature. To turn me into a frog, you say to yourself? Someday I must return the favor. So what did that do for us? I have no bloody idea. Like seriously, I have no idea what that did for us. All I know is we're probably about to die because this thing is going to mess us up. But we do have flame dart. Look at how good flame dart is. Look at how good flame dart is. Look at that. You search your opponent, want to waste no treasure, but we did get some confidence points for being able to kill this horrible thing. So now we're going to Arana's peace and we're going to rest up. And I think we're going to spend the next day, as I said, fighting, getting stronger, trying to increase our abilities. Preparing for the end game because we are basically almost at the end game at this point. We're at 291 of 500, which I know doesn't sound like the end game, but it's getting close. Our intelligence is now 47. Our magic is 44. We have 45 magic points, which is fantastic. We can cast flame dart now nine times. This game really does feel like the D and D at times with the, it feels like, it feels like original D and D as a wizard because you start out so weak and you can cast a couple spells once a day and that's all you can do. But then as you grow and as you level up, all of a sudden your magic just becomes really, really powerful. And that's what we're hopefully building towards. I'm going to drop a save. And what we are going to do is we are going to first see if we can... Wait, didn't we already kill the troll? Yes, we did already kill troll, but we haven't killed the cobalt. So let's go, set, let's go ahead and see if we can kill the cobalt. This is probably a really bad idea. We are going to start out sneaking so we can get first strike. Well, we're going to go back to sneaking. And we're going to get first strike here. Come on, where you at? Is that the top right now? He's over at the left. Do we kill him? Did we kill him? 
Hey, I think we killed him. How about that? The only problem is he didn't really drop anything. He didn't give us anything. That's such a shame. Are we sure we killed him? Apparently so. Congratulations, we just killed a cobalt. We did not get any reward for it, but sometimes ridding the world of evil monsters is a reward in itself. I agree. Oh, hello? Wasn't expected to see you out in the daytime. Ow. Shooting lightning at us. Again, our flame bolt is just so good right now. Yeah, no treasure. That's a shame, but we annihilated him like he was nothing. We still have seven mana potions, and we are going to use a few of these today so that we, we can get a little bit stronger. We're also going to make our way back to the goblin camp, which is down this way. To the left. Up. I know it's around here. Oh, wait, what was that? That was like a dinosaur. Hey, wait, come back. And where'd it go? Oh, man, there was like a giant dinosaur off to the right there. I want to know what that was. Uh, there's a... I don't want to mess with that guy. I'd rather mess with goblins. Goblins give you a lot more gold. Intelligence and magic is almost at 50. Good. We have 37 magic points, which means we can cast flame darts seven times, which should be enough to kill about three goblins, I'd imagine. Let's do this. Flame dart. Stop hitting me when I'm casting a spell. Two, three. I was mistaken. It's enough to kill two. Well, two plus we would have hurt one if he didn't stop us. Now it's just stabby stab time. Stabby stab, stabby stab, stabby stab. Yes. Man, look how easy this is now. Remember when fighting was like impossible when we started the game? Stop dodging, please. I don't like that. Thank you. But, I mean, look at our stamina. It's, o it's only at half depletion. Look at that. We made that so easy. He lost all to do a lone shark. And his left shoe, there was eight silver. Tucked in his tunic, four silver. The big loser had nothing. Lucky day, 35, five silver on him. He lost all his money in paycheck. And he has four silvers clutched in his hands. Fantastic, that was a wonderful job. Good job, Devin, you did a great job. After 60 minutes, you feel better. We're too impatient to rest, even for 10 minutes? Yes, we are, okay. Let's chug a potion. Let's check our stats. Our stamina is only at half full, but our magic is pretty good. Our weapon skill went up, our luck went up, our vitality went up, and our agility went up. Excellent. We are getting strong. Getting strong now. It's like something from a Rocky. You know, you're just fighting goblins trying to get strong. Let loose our flame darts. We got two that time of that. Oh, again, we should have enough stamina where this isn't an issue anymore. Because even though our stamina says it's half full, compared to what it was originally, it's night and day. So we're just going to quickly go through all these goblins. Increase our strength, our dexterity, our vitality, our weapon use. And most importantly, increasing our magical skill. That was my number one goal, and that's something that we are able to do. Look at all those goblins. Two, four, six, eight goblins. Goodness gracious. We're actually max in magic now, and our stamina is half, which kind of does worry me a little. I'm gonna drop a save before we fight again, because that's a little lower than what I would like. Okay, we got 30 more minutes of rest. Good, good, good. Hello, any more goblins? Do we like get rid of you all? Nope, they're still here. Stop hitting me when I'm trying to cast flame dart. I hate how that makes you waste magic points. Wait, did we just kill that guy with two shots? I think we did. Let's 
so we got about, I think, three with our spells. And now we just stabby stab the rest. Our weapon use skill is good. We're doing de Oh, wow. I think we critically hit that one. Because he just died. Oh, he died too. Man. We're getting so good with our dagger now. Fantastic. Two, four, six, eight. So it looks like eight is the cap. Four, six, eight. Yes, eight is the cap. But again, every single time we kill these guys, we load up on money. I mean, we got this guy who has 35 silver. We get about, what, 50 silver every single time. And that's five gold. It costs 7.5 gold to get a mana potion. I don't know if I'm doing the math right. <laughs> I mean, does that mean we have 18 gold? Like 19 gold? I think it does, but I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. What does matter? Our stats. And according to our stats, we have 52 magic now, which is respectable. I'm okay with 52. So what we want to do is we want to go to Arana's Peace and Rest. Again, this whole day was just us trying to get stronger. And stronger we did get. There we go. So we want to go to Rana's Peace. We want to rest up and prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be going to Zauberberg. Up the mountain again. This time we're just going to answer truthfully and we're going to get to the top so we can see the wizard. We should have plenty of potions to play his game. We have six spells. I know we're missing Zap and we're missing a spell from Erasmus. I think that's all the magic we can get. I'm not entirely sure. Our flame dart expertise is 64, which means we are nuking things wonderfully. I really would like our other magical spells to be more powerful though. I mean, our detect is weak as can be. Our open spell is weak as can be. Trigger is weak. Fetch is weak. So I really wish some of our other spells were more powerful. We're just going to... I'm not gonna, yeah, we have 14 magic points. Why don't we just go ahead and just fire off a few more flame darts. Oh my gosh, there is a brigand coming and I think I completely missed with that flame dart. I think I hit him that time. Oh, yes, we did. This guy is always tricky because he's always blocking. Wow. Okay, I lied, he's not always tricky. <laughs> it's amazing how much stronger you feel after you level up some in this game. Young guy's been totally satisfied. We don't need any more fruit. Let's go ahead and sleep all night. So today was a very productive day. Even though we didn't really do any heroing, we were able to increase a lot of our skills. The fruit is very soft and juicy. It would be impossible to keep it in pack. We can't eat. Day is dawning. How many rations do we have now? We have 24. We have a lot of rations. We're, I think we're okay with food. We're going to save here, and then we're going to make our way to Zauberg. I'll see you guys there unless we get into a fight. Welcome back to Zauberg, everyone. Vienna Vino, I'm Mount Magi. Proceed at your own risk. Yes, we've learned that already. This time, we're not going to do anything foolish. We're not going to do anything stupid, and we are going to try to answer honestly, so that way we can get into this purple space shuttle-looking palace tower thing every muscle in your body is letting you know that this is great exercise oh you again here comes your questions three what is your name our name is devin aidendale kunga din what is your quest we want to be a hero I want to be a wizard. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe. I just happened to be in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop by. <laughs> I want to be a hero. What is the first name of the guy who rules this valley? Wait, what? Like, the name? Wait, that's not fair. Um, It's not Erasmus. It's not Baron. It's Stefan Vaughn. Is it Stefan or Stefan? Stefan. Nah, you haven't confused with the king. 
Oh, really? Oh, Jesus. I thought the guy who rules the valley is the king. You rat piece of garbage. Ugh. All right. Guess we got to go all the way back up again. Time to rest. Yes, we feel better. Hey, at least it's a good exercise, right? Is this increasing our stats just climbing up a mountain? No, it's not, which is infuriating. <laughs> Come on, this is supposed to be good exercise. We should get, like, huge stat ups every single time we climb this mountain. Da, 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 da. Ah, you begin to think being eaten by a monster would be more fun than climbing this mountain. Oh, you again! Here comes your questions three. What is your name? Uh, as we said, I'm Oz. No, <laughs> we are Devin Edendale. What is your quest? I want glory. I want to be wizard. I want to be rich. I want glory. It is quest for glory, right? I want glory. Who do you seek here? Well, that's... Why do you keep changing the questions? Fenris, the Wizard of Oz. Dr. Livingstone, I presume. Amelia Earhart. We seek Erasmus. But is it Erasmus or Fenris? Ah! Oh! We seek Erasmus. I sure hope he got his pizza order right this time. The wizard will see you now. Oh, thank God. Go directly to the tower. Do not dally. Wah ha 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 ha. We made it through. This room is full of odds, ends, and stuff. The wizard must be a real character. I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna look around, and then maybe we'll touch something to see what happens. The poor stuffed peacock seems beraggled, worn, and overused. This is a Zen lamp. You feel enlightened in its presence. It's a famous Duncan dragon. You haven't seen one of those in years. There is a strange figure on the bookshelf. It looks like an overgrown rat wearing a wizard's hat. It was a moderately large and fearful dragon at one time. Your eyes are drawn to the eyes of the figure on the portrait. His intense scare is unnerving. This would not be someone to trifle with, for he looks subtle and quick to anger. Erasmus likes to keep his suits well ironed. Ha ha ha. The looks of those crystals, the crystal this castle might be a gigantic geode. So what happens if we touch something? The dragon is squawking. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Don't tell him what to do. The rat's squawking. That'll align ya. Oh, we just got kicked out. I wonder what happens if you climb back up. Do they like say, hey, you're a thief. You know, you shouldn't have done that. Or will he let us ask questions again? Da 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 Climb seems longer every time, but you made it. Oh, you again. Here comes your questions. Oh, so he does re ask, we ask the questions. And what is the Thieves Guild password? I actually know this. this the Thieves Guild password is Schwerterfish. That's right, but that's also wrong. Saying I was like, oh, we just said that we were a thief. Oh, the game. This game. This game. You, you're an evil gargoyle. Okay, by saying we knew the Thieves Guild password, we're saying we're a thief. Wait, did we just lose a point? Maybe that's... Maybe get a point for saying the... We don't care about the point. The points don't matter. This is like Cruise Lines anyway. Points don't matter. Only the story. But I guess you get a point for successfully saying you know the Thieves Guild password when you're a thief. Come in and sit down. Fenris, our guest has arrived. Cheese, please. That's cool. He's sending cheese to himself. Aw, Fenris is adorable. Ah. Since you are a practitioner of the magical arts, you might be interested in a little game I have. Do you know the spell open? Yes, we do. Do you know the spell fetch? Yes, we do. Great. Now, can you cast flame dart? Yes, we can. Ah, good, good. Now, all I had to know is the spell trigger. I don't suppose you know that spell, do you? Yes, we do. Wonderful. 
Then you can play a game of Mage's Maze with me. You do want to play, don't you? Sure. I'll teach you the Dazzle spell if you win. Oh, that sounds amazing. Wait, what just happened for this game? Click on the magic flask to drink a magic power potion while playing the game. That's down here. We need to adjust the speed here. Which... We're blue. We're over here. So we need to fetch... Wait, we need to get across. How do we get across? Go bigger? No, that didn't work. Um, uh, how do you play this game? You need to go that way to the ladder. All right, so we're definitely the blue guy. And this pink guy is getting ahead. We need to go over this or around here, but I don't know how to move. Oh wait, we click this, then we click this, and then we click that. Click this. Uh, that didn't help. We can, we can click open. Click open. Move the boulder. Click open. Move the boulder. Drink a potion. How do I get past this little ledge? How do I get through this area? Come on. Go this way. Don't just stand there. What do you press? What is this? Let's go small again, I guess. Open the rock here. Uh, I don't know if that did anything. And we got the ladder down there, but we're stuck here. I, I just set fire over there. Oh, the candle burning must be my flame dart spell. How do we get past this little section here? Let's go ahead and move the boulder. I'm trying to click on places, by the way. Um... I am... so confused right now. Because I have no idea how to get over this ledge. What just happened to the ladder? I just made a second ladder disappear. Okay, there. We got a ladder there. Can you go over to the ladder, please? Can you please go over to that ladder? Please go to the ladder. Why aren't you going to the ladder? We're like stuck here. Oh wait, maybe we can make the fire, make him go a different way because he seems to be afraid of the fire. So if we cast fire, put the fire there. Can we make you go this way? Do you need to be smaller? How about if we move the boulder? Now can we make you go away? I don't get this game! How are you supposed to do this? All right, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna, we're gonna restart this. Take two. And this time I noticed something. I'm looking over here at the beginning. There's some sort of bridge here that wasn't here before. 
And looks like there's a bridge here as well. Has he been messing with my bridges? Wait, now we're going easy. Okay. Oh, yes. He's, he took the bridge. That's why I couldn't climb over there before. I had to fetch the bridge. Wait, I don't want to... want to move the ladder here. Uh, you need to be big to use the ladder. Okay. We need to be small here to get through this little hole. That'll pop us up down here. What do we do here? We need to get rid of this boulder. And we need to fetch a bridge down here. How about that? Well, you seem to have beginner's luck. It only took you one game to win. Humph. Usually it takes at least 500 tries for anyone less than a full wizard to defeat me. So that was it. We just... We were doing everything right except for fetching the bridge. You have to fetch the bridge to you. I didn't realize... I didn't realize it until we started playing again that there was even bridges to be moved to begin with. As you promised, I shall now teach you the spell known as Erasmus' Razzle Dazzle. Yay! I do hope, I do so enjoy playing the Mage's Maze. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.